Hi everyone, Rob here and I'm back with another Unity tutorial. And today we're going to be going over how to access rigid bodies uh, within our game objects. So as you'll see here, I have a new scene and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create game object, 3D object, cube. Now you'll notice that this cube is created and on it it has a box collider and a mesh renderer. I want to add a component. This is going to be physics, rigid body. Now, I'm going to turn off Use Gravity, but I am going to leave uh, the Is Kinematic here untoggled as well. So, so both of these components are untoggled. Right? And now what I'm going to do is I have this script here. And let's go through the script really quick. So what this script here does is it has rigid body rigid. So basically, this is the type, this is the variable. And what I've done is I'm saying that I want to reference a rigid body by calling it rigid. Now, what, which rigid body do we want to reference in our code with this variable? Well, this, this script, dot, the game object that this script is on, dot, get the component, the rigid body component, off of that game object. So, once we have that reference, then what I've set up here is a little toggle, where I could do, if we press the Q key, we're going to set rigid body dot is kinematic to not rigid body dot is kinematic. Now, I'll slow down and I'll explain this. Rigid body dot is kinematic, right? So this is saying, do we want this rigid body to interact with normal physics or do we want it to interact with the code? Now, what I've done now, this, now what that means, we could go into in a later tutorial. But basically, for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm showing you how can you access the properties of a rigid body component uh, using Unity 5.3. So it used to be, that you didn't always have to use get component, right? There were other ways, ways to reference this rigid body. But now the preferred way is to use get component. In fact, the other method, uh, which I'm not even going to discuss, has become obsolete because now this is the proper way to do it. And it makes a lot of sense because once we use get component, now we can access all of those properties via the code. So again, what this is doing is we're saying that is kinematic is toggled to whatever it isn't. So if is kinematic is unchecked, and we press the Q key, it's going to become checked or true. But then if we press the Q key again, it's going to become false or unchecked. Now let me show you what I mean. So we're here. Uh, I just want to make sure that I have this script attached to this game object, this cube game object. Perfect. Now we're going to hit play. Now I want you to take note that is kinematic is currently unchecked. I will now press the Q key. Now you see that is kinematic is checked. I'm going to press the Q key again. Now it's unchecked. As I continue to press the Q key, it's checked and unchecked. We could have done this for any toggleable variable here. We could have done that for is uh, use gravity as well. And there's also other ways to access these other properties via code, which we can go over in a later tutorial. But for now, you know how to reference a rigid body within your code and set up these little toggles for any sort of uh, checkable property of your component. Thanks for watching everyone, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.